uh, your characters have some serious parental issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, we've, we did. we've solved them now. We took care of them. I was yeah. going to say. So how is that going to mm-hmm. affect season two? We're free. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dad can't tell me what to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're both haunted by mm. by what happened uh, at the end of season one. Yeah, we've got um, something to hide. Yeah, and the world can't know. And... Um, I, I was kind of struggling with whether Cotton felt free as a result of it or if he felt guilty. And I kind of settled on um, that he felt guilty that he felt free. You know? <laughs> I like it. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that it's interesting because Cotton and Anne have both been given kind of an out, an alibi for um, the death of their, their parents. And so they're, they are, they can't, they're free to walk around. You know, they're not in jail or anything. But... Mm-hmm. but uh, Sometimes I think almost not being punished is a punishment because you have to live with yourself. And that's something that Anne can barely do at the beginning of season two. Yeah, there's like a personal guilt that's worse. You yeah. almost want to be caught. Yeah, so that you yeah. can kind of pay your dues. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you don't, then you are left with yourself and your deed. And there's it's very crime between. and punishment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that was a pretty spectacular death. Well, both of them were. But, uh, all three of them. All of them. Exploding <laughs> heads, I swords. Know. I love it. So tell me a little bit about the powers. Because Anne seems to be more powerful than any of the other witches. That's certainly what people are, have said. You know, even in, in um, season one, there was this kind of look, sort of sideways glances at Anne. But Anne has nothing to, to she wants nothing to do with any of that side of things. She's absolutely wants to live a kind of an upright, honest life, and I think she sees any other, you know, she sees the witches um, and their evil doings as being completely the antithesis of that. Yeah, you've only seen magic done in a way that's evil, so Mm. you don't know that there's an alternative. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no one's taught her the kind of, the the positive powers perhaps of um, of her, of her gifts or curses, however you see them. Mm-hmm. Mm. And something, uh, Cotton um, has some love issues as well, and it's interesting because you're the one that got the speech about love is war for women and all of that, mm. but is that going to play out in any way in season two? Yeah, I mean, Cotton's always struggling to find a, 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 a lock for his heart key to fit into. Oh, I love that. <laughs> that also sounds a little innuendo <laughs> um, Well, you know, considering the first few episodes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he, there's, and there's also the angst of, of the loss of Gloriana. Um, mm-hmm. that was, you know, the first woman that he felt love toward. And there was actually a, a scene that didn't make it in one of the episodes where he actually really professed his love to her. Uh, and I think it ended up getting cut out, but I thought that was pretty interesting because it kind of helped me be aware that, oh, he did have those feelings. And so without her, I think he's desperate to find another place to to put those feelings and and just to know that it's possible again especially after experiencing killing his own father and all these terrible things it would be nice to have some some light awesome well thank you guys thank you